the headbutt controversy. So Sean Strickland had brought up the fact that a headbutt caused a cut over his eye that hindered him in the fourth and fifth round. So I took a deep dive to look at the headbutty sequence and what happened here. Did it in fact cause a cut or did it make an already pre-existing cut worse? So this is a sequence that Strickland has brought up. Drickus Duplessis shoots in for a single leg takedown, drives Strickland up against the fence and rises his head where his head seems to create contact with Strickland's left eye. This definitely does look like a headbutt and then right after there was an elbow as well it's hard to tell which one would have caused the damage to the eye but we do know that Drickus did rise his head into the eye it's hard to tell which one was which because in between the headbutt and the elbow I zoom in and I can't tell if the damage is already there it's very hard to see we do know that Strickland does duck his head when the elbow comes at him but it could potentially still catch the eye and on Drickus's body you don't see anything on his head or his elbow so it could have been both both the head clash and elbow may have caused the cut to be even worse but even if there was an elbow there it does not take away that he got headbutted intentional or not or a head clash whatever you want to call it the head hit his eye right and that's a foul Strickland pushes away from the clinch and you could definitely see the guy is leaking pretty badly but the cut was already there before this even happened I would say that the headbutt made the cut worse and potentially even caused damage to the eye from the impact of the headbutt not just the cut itself because Strickland did say that it was hard to see out of his left eye after this happened just to show what caused the cut here it was an overhand right from Drickus Duplessis before this even happened so as you can see Drickus lands that right overhand on the left side of Strickland's face there was a lot of impact there Strickland's head blows right back from the punch and immediately after this when Strickland's able to create some space you see him start squinting. Drickus throws another combination which misses, does not land on the target, and especially does not land on the left side of Strickland's face. He squints again and you already see the leaking happening. You already see the cut there. This is right before the takedown and the headbutt sequence even happened. So we know for sure that the cut was caused by an overhand, but the headbutt may have made the cut even worse. I don't know what the, the officials, the ref, the judges, or anybody would have to say about this. I don't know if they're going to look at anything about it, but we do know for a fact that the ref should have recognized the headbutt and done something about it when the fight was going on. But it was also very impressive to see that Strickland did win the very next round after that happened to him. And the eye was leaking pretty badly, and you see him routinely throughout the fourth and fifth round, he constantly has to wipe at his eye. And mind you, this is very early in the fourth round. After two very close rounds that just happened, that headbutt may have impacted him losing that round. And then in the fifth, he came out a lot more aggressive and saw that he had success trusting in his offense, even against Drickus's power, and won the fifth round. So maybe this stands more ground to have a rematch. There is a headbutt controversy. The fight was very close. It could have went either way. A lot of people think Drickus won a lot of people think Strickland won it was a great fight and there is no real contender yet you could say it's Jared Kennedy but the guy's still injured you could say Hamza but the guy hasn't fought a middleweight you could say Adesanya but he already got his immediate rematch and he lost it very badly in a five-round fight with Sean Strickland I think the best move to make at this point is to have a rematch between these two and in the meantime we get to see who rises as the number one contender you could do Hamza versus Izzy you could do Hamza versus Kennedy whenever Kennedy is ready to fight those would be great fights to have, probably even on the same card if they do a rematch with this one. 